Welcome back, fellow Dragonborns. As the calendar turns to March 2023, we have compiled a list of Skyrim mods that you must have in the first week of the month. These mods will make your game more immersive, realistic, and visually stunning. So without further ado, let's dive into the list of mods that will make your Skyrim experience even better. And if you press the subscribe like button before watching the video, it will be very helpful for the growth of the channel. Then let's get started. The first mod I will introduce to you is Leviathan Animations 2 Great Sword Low Stance. This mod is a set of new animations for Skyrim's Great Sword. The mod is a vanilla replacer, meaning it does not require any additional mods to work. The animations replace the Great Sword Equip, Unequip, Idle, All Locomotion, Block, Block Anticipation, Blocked Hit Reactions, Bash and Power Bash. The animations are designed to keep the character and weapon facing the locked on target at all times, regardless of movement direction. The mod also includes an option for a more relaxed locomotion while outside of combat. The animations are provided as vanilla replacers, which means they can be used as is or placed in your folder structure of choice. The mod is compatible with other animation mods like PCEA mods, combo stances animation framework, and diverse random normal attack. The animations apply to both the player character and NPCs. Leviathan Animations 2 Greatsword Low Stance is a mod that provides an immersive experience for greatsword users in Skyrim. With the addition of the new Low Stance animations, players can experience a new way of wielding the greatsword in combat. The second mod to introduce is Frost Giant Overhaul Mahile Monsters and Animals. Karstag is now an independent boss, no longer sharing the Frost Giant model, and is stronger than ever, with unique abilities and attacks, including powerful frost magic, summoning ice minions, and a powerful charge attack. He also has a new arena, fitting for his stature as a legendary creature. The Frost Giant Overhaul mod is a complete overhaul of the vanilla Frost Giant and Karstag, with a new detailed model, textures, and mechanics, making them more faithful to the original Frost Giants from Morrowind's Lore and Blood Moon DLC. The mod adds new abilities, attacks, sounds, and loot to Karstag, making him a more challenging and unique boss. The mod adds new sounds for the Frost Giants, including roars, grunts, and breathing, all custom made for this mod. The mod also adds new loot to Karstag, including his skull as a trophy, which can be used to summon him as a powerful ally in battle. Therefore, this mod is perfect for players who want a more immersive and challenging experience when fighting giants in Skyrim. The third mod I will introduce to you is Modern Female Sitting Animations Overhaul. The Modern Female Sitting Animations Overhaul mod is a comprehensive overhaul of the female sitting animations in Skyrim. It aims to improve both the functionality and immersion of the sitting animations by providing armor type and furniture specific animations. The mod is powered by Dynamic Animation Replacer and Base Object Swapper, which allow for animation swapping on each specific piece of furniture in the game. With the framework provided by the mod, it is possible to change sitting animations from being one boring copy-pasted animation into a unique set of animations with a variety for both furniture and armor types in-game. The mod adds 16 new sitting idols that dynamically fit your character's situation and clothing. The mod includes a range of animations supported by adult female NPCs, including female-only versions of the improved table transitions animations. Additionally, there are high heel variants of all sitting idols available for use with the high heel condition spell. Overall, the modern female sitting animations overhaul mod provides a much more immersive and varied sitting experience in Skyrim, making it a must-have for players looking to enhance their gameplay. The fourth mod I'm going to introduce to you is Imperial Armors and Weapons Retexture. The Imperial Armors and Weapons Retexture mod is a Skyrim mod that retextures all the Imperial Armor sets, shields, weapons, Creation Club Imperial Dragon Armor and Weapons, Creation Club Lord's Mail, and Creation Club Imperial Crossbow. 
The mod also adds optional sleeves and or pants to all sets and includes an optional General Carius armor add-on that makes his set wearable, temperable, and lootable. The light and medium sets are based on a Midian-born Book of Silence, while the heavy sets are based on the vanilla versions. The mod also offers a faux mod installer that allows players to pick and choose which textures they want to install. The textures are 2K except for the chest armor textures, which are 4K. There is also a half-res version available with 1K textures. With this mod, players can enjoy improved textures and more customization options for their imperial armor and weapons. The fifth mod I will introduce to you is Cathedral 3D Dragon's Tongue with Glow Map and ENB Light. Cathedral 3D Dragon's Tongue with Glow Map and ENB Light is a mod designed to enhance the visual experience of Driakapo's 3D Dragon's Tongue mod. This mod requires the original mod and allows users to choose their preferred texture option. The mod includes a mesh replacer with an orange glow map and ENB support. Additionally, users have the option to choose a performance or hardcore ENB version, as well as a glow map only version. The mod also adds fancy orange ENB lights and a glow map to the mesh, and makes adjustments to the specular shader. The mod is made possible thanks to Driakapo's open permissions and his amazing flora mods. Therefore, Cathedral 3D Dragon's tongue with glow map and ENB light greatly improves the visual quality of the original mod and enhances the player's overall gaming experience. The sixth mod I will introduce to you is Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X. Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X is a mod that enhances the visual experience of combat in Skyrim by adding new particle effects when hitting with a weapon. The mod modifies the impact dataset of the vanilla game and adds new impact particle effects. The added effects are purely visual and do not affect the gameplay. One of the significant features of the mod is the unique particle effects for each skin type, including flesh, dragon, metal armor, dwarven, and bone. Additionally, the mod supports three weapon types in the alpha version, sword, axe, and blunt. Another feature is the new spark effect when hitting objects, which replaces the previous dust effect. The spark effect is more visually appealing and adds more depth to combat. Overall, Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X is an excellent mod for players who want to enhance their Skyrim gameplay visually without affecting the gameplay itself. The seventh mod I'm going to introduce to you is Real Dwemer Pipes. Real Dwemer Pipes is a mod that enhances the appearance of all Dwemer Pipes in Skyrim by improving their meshes and textures. The mod ensures that the pipes have better shapes, smoother textures, and more accurate UV fixes. Real Dwemer Pipes is highly optimized, ensuring compatibility with all texture mods without requiring an ESP plugin. Additionally, the mod comes with three versions, Vanilla, Dwemer Pipework Reworked, and Golden Dwemer Pipework Redone. Essential patches are also provided to make sure the mod works seamlessly with other popular mods. Therefore, Real Dwemer Pipes is a must-have mod for those looking to enhance the visual appeal of Dwemer Pipes in Skyrim. Thank you for watching our list of Skyrim mods that you must have in the first week of March 2023. We hope you found some exciting mods that will enhance your gameplay and bring you closer to the world of Tamriel. Remember, modding is a great way to keep the game fresh and exciting, and we'll be back soon with more great mods for you to try out. Until then, happy modding!